Hello, gentle viewers. This is Avindian, welcoming you to a new series of Crusader Kings 2. Uh, my Twitter poll pretty clearly indicated that people wanted more CK2, and I'm fine with that. I just thought that the playthrough we're doing the tutorial, there's just not enough content to keep it interesting for the channel. Uh, while you were waiting for that, I caught the Steam... The Black Friday sale? Let's get the music turned up a little bit. I think I turned the music down too far. There we go. Um, and I got the last couple expansions. I'm deliberately keeping Sunset Invasion disabled. Because, look, I, I just think it's silly. I really do think it is silly. It started out as, I can't remember if it was an April Fool's or a Halloween pose, and then they made it an expansion. And it's like, look, it's just, it's not that fun to me. I mean, maybe that's just me. But I am excited to play the game again. So we're going to click single player. New game, please. Um, I had a bit of a think about this. Which time frame I wanted to start with? Read Demise World, what the hell is this? Oh, that's really cool. We're not going to do it this time around, though. Oh, these are really cool additions. I don't think I had these before. I like that. Um. So when you get the Charlemagne expansion, you get the early Middle Ages start. And when you get the old gods, you get the Viking Age start. What added the Iron Century? I'm not sure. But, um... We're gonna pick the early Middle Ages. We're gonna pick Custom Game Setup. So, last time I checked on Steam, I had... Oh, here it goes. It shows what you need. You need the old gods or Charlemagne. This must have been something they added at some point, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to randomize it four times. Because that's how many people voted. So let's look at the realms. This is what medieval Europe and Asia a bit looks like. One... Two, three, four. It looks like we're starting in the Byzantine Empire. All right, then. There's our emperor. We're not going to mess with ruler designer. And this is it, trying to get me to buy more packs. Nice try, dudes. Oh, we're going to play with Iron Man on. I would like to earn some achievements, please. No, I don't want to do that. Um, all of these are fine. Yes, this works perfectly. I'm fine with all the defaults, basically. These all look pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think we're just going to leave stuff as the default for now. Um, there's a whole bunch in here, though. Oh, this was a big change. Early CK2, you could pay money to assassinate people. And it was just ridiculous. Um, anyone who was rich would just pay like 500 gold and kill anyone on the map. It was a bit silly. Uh, I kind of like the rest of this here. I'm not playing multiplayer, so I don't care about most of this. Yeah, I think this works. I 
think this works perfectly. All right, let's go ahead and click on Start Game. I'm gonna turn up my headphones a little bit. I can't really hear. So this gives us just the generic Crusader Kings 2 stuff. Here we go. Oh, we're an Okino class. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, we can blind and castrate people, which is fun. Oh, very seasonal. Um. And it's a feudal government, which is pretty typical. And then, here we go. Actually, I lied. I'm going to turn the music down a bit more. Sorry. It's very distracting, even if it is very festive. Okay. So, um, we need to find what our realm is. Let's click on our character. We are Theodoros of Samos. We're Stratagos, which I believe is the Byzantine equivalent of a duke. Yeah, because my liege is the emperor, and I have two counts as vassals. There we go. Cool. Um... So this is us. Uh, we've got two counties, and then we're the Duke. Very nice. Uh, we're not a super great character. We suck at warfare. We're kind of diplomatic. We're pretty smart, but other than that, we're pretty dumb, actually. Oh, the county of Samos. Right. Oh, that's right. You call them themes, and... um. Yeah, I remember that now. So we only have four direct vassals. Um, we currently hold the county of Ephesos, and then we're the duke as well. Line of succession vice royalty? What the hell does that mean? Oh, primogeniture. Perfect. That's going to make our lives very happy. Uh, we're eventually going to want to centralize the realm a bit. But right now, there's no point. Um, oh, perfect. Uh, I'm immediately going to start with this. And I'm the person who gets a vote, which is great. Um, because I would very much like to be able to take away titles from people that I consider to be traitors. Oh, look at all this great stuff. There's a much more of a continuum here. Which is really good. Um, the council has no power. Um, and I have quite a lot of authority in my realm. Which is perfect. Okay. So I'm a bit of a shit. And I'm also a par I'm also a heretic. Which means we are gonna have an issue down the road if the ecumenical patriarch gets his panties in a twist. Uh vassals all my vassals like me. Which is pretty good. And you're also an iconoclast, which is great. Um, so, when I die... Wait. Why am I gonna lose... Oh! This is the weird Byzantine system, isn't it? Yeah. No, that's... The Empire itself is elective. 
and a succession vice royalty. What the hell are you talking about? Like, I don't get it. What am I missing here? This here says it's primogeniture, right? Oh no, that's for my emperor. Wait, what? Why? I mean, I know I can't control my succession laws. That's because I'm in an empire. And the emperor controls that. But why did the emperor not give my dookie to my child? I find that... Unsettling. I find it extremely unsettling that I'm going to lose my doogie. Oh, you know, I think I know what the vice royalty succession is. I think it goes back to the emperor and then the emperor hands it back out. So I've got my de jure dookie. I've got all of it, which is great. But yeah, so this is basically saying I need to suck up to the emperor to make sure that he decides to give it back to me when I... to my family when we die. Which is fine. Anything else I need to know about my character? He's proud, wroth, and cruel. And he's a coward. So he's pretty much a dick. If we're being honest. But he's a really good diplomat. And I also have, because of my wife, I have a non-aggression pact with Parthena. Okay. She's 35. We might want to plot to kill her at some stage. Alright. Let's try to get a retinue built up. Oh, I already have a retinue. It's just really tiny. Wait, what? Oh, my retinue cap is too low. I see. As time progresses, as we get a stronger realm, I'll be able to improve it, but that's what we're on about right now. Uh, so one of the expansions added an additional, uh, changed around these a bit. Oh, I see. This is like a generic thing. This is targeted. I would like to improve my relations with my boss, the Emperor. Uh, you're a major vassal, you expect to be on the council, but you really suck at it. Okay, so I'm immediately going to... You're not going to like this, but I'm going to fire you. There we go, change council position. Perfect. I had something else in mind. He should be my Mysticos. Perfect. And then I need a new um, Sacalarios. Oh, Steward. Okay. Yeah, you suck, dude. Why on earth would I want to keep you in there? Oh, right now, council decisions don't matter because the council actually doesn't have any power. Um, we might change that down the road, but for right now, it's not something that I'm particularly concerned about. Um, yeah, so really quickly, writing down the council business. Cause we've added a ton of new content to the game, guys. So I'm going to take some time. I'm going to explain some things. And we might not even unpause the game this first episode. And if that's what happens, that's what happens. But I want to make sure that you guys understand what's going on. At some point in the game, you can change to one where you want your vassals to like you more. So you give the council power. And how they're going to vote depends on what faction they would be part of. Pragmatists will do whatever's best for the realm. Gloryhounds do what's best for themselves. Zealots do what's best for their religion. Uh, malcontents do whatever it takes to piss off the ruler, which is you. And loyalists do whatever it takes to make the ruler happy. 
So we're pretty confident this person would be a um, a pragmatist. This person's going to be a zealot. And so I'm happy having a pragmatist, actually. So right now, all he's doing is improving my domain, increase conversion chance, and prosperity gain. That's perfect. So these are like generic missions. Um, and let's definitely replace my military's commander. He's a glory hound. He's going to want to fight for personal glory. I don't really care, though. Done. Uh, you're going to be organizing the army. So it's going to make retinues cheaper. I like that quite a lot, actually. Um, you can scheme to find plots. You can try to sabotage a province. You can build a spy network. Or you can study tech. Let's go ahead and just have you scheme for right now. And then finally, my court chaplain. Uh, he's hunting down enemy societies. No, 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 no. Actually, let's look at the religious map mode really quickly. Oh, it's got a holy site. Okay. This is fine, actually. Iconoclasm, I think, is actually not a heresy at this point. Oh, here's some more iconoclasts. Oh, interesting. My country is still orthodox. I'm just iconoclast. That can't... That won't do. Uh, please, convert our people to experience the glory that is iconoclasm. Oh, we can hand out some minor titles. We'll do that here in a minute. So right now, our council has two pragmatists, uh, three glory hounds, and that's it. But right now, we don't actually care because the council has no power. If they get agitated, they might start a faction, but for right now, I'm not worried about it. And then finally, here's my lieges council. I am currently not on it. Um, I probably would have the best chance of being either the uh, court chaplain or the chancellor. Uh, the court chaplain is an eight, so I might actually get promoted. Uh, then might I, the my leech might place me on his council, which will give me uh, a chance to affect things more broadly. Let's look at our religion. Uh, there is an ecumenical patriarch. We have no saints. That's fine. We're an orthodox he herod or heresy. But we only have one patriarch. So technically, even though this is a heresy, the heresy is now mainstream. We can ask for a divorce. We can ask for excommunication. Or we could ask for an invasion. Uh, we could join a society. We could join the Hermetic Society. They want hidden secrets about the world. Mm. Oh, these are both considered hidden factions. Uh, we could get in trouble down the road for joining these. Just for fun, let's join the Hermetic Society. It's gonna make me smarter. I like it. Perfect. I'm now a neophyte. I can write a theorem paper, and if it's accepted, I gain esoteric knowledge. Thrilling. Um, you're going to want a court physician at some stage. I can't expand my retinue because I don't have enough of a cap. I only have 63 gold and I only have one personal domain. Which isn't nearly enough to upgrade anything just yet. Are we ready 
I have a very tiny army. Um, I think our strategy is going to be to butter people up. I think we're going to want to participate in wars when necessary. But look, we're not going to be able to defeat any of our neighbors anytime soon. Like, if we look at you... Uh, you don't have that big an army. But I would want to wait a bit. Um, and just see if we can maybe gain some other lands elsewhere in the Empire. Uh, anything else that we want to do right now? Oh, we have to do all this stuff. Um, so right now, the Emperor doesn't like me a whole lot. Why doesn't the Emperor like me? Please like me, Emperor. I like you. Uh, right now, there's just basically... It's just nothing right now. It is... Uh, I'm a craven and he's brave. That's it. That's the only thing affecting our opinion of each other. So as that opinion approves, I'll get a chance to uh to change that around an ambition i would like to have an heir um that's a lot of money i would like to be a counselor actually perfect and if it works i will like my emperor better these are the generic ones. King of Anatolia, huh? I really don't think that's a good idea. I'm going to pick acquire title. I would like more land. That is my ambition. And let's choose our focus. I think I'm going to pick scholarship. I mean, if I'm going to be a learned individual or theology. Oh. Because remember, right? Some people don't like me. Oh, he's mad because I fired him. Well, he'll get over it. I'll, he'll at least like me more if I'm if I go theologian. Or I could use this to counter... Some of my weaknesses, but frankly, I'd rather go all in on something I'm already good at. I actually like carousing, actually. Let's do it. Let's crank up the diplomacy to 11. Boop. And then that'll be bumped up once, uh, once the game on pauses. And then I do need to hand out some titles. Oh, and I have a... Oh, that's the problem! Maybe. No? Oh, you're just the only one who doesn't have a childhood focus. You're already pretty warlike. You know what? Um, let's have you work on struggle. There we go. She's likely to become rowdy, but also willful. That's fine. I'm down with that. My air. Oh god, you're terrible at everything. Oh, I see. Um, can we please get you a diplomatic education? So right now you're conscientious, indolent, and haughty. So we think he would do really, really well there. What are your traits? You're haughty, indolent, and conscientious. So everything that's good at this, yeah, you're just pretty much the worst. I'm just going to have you pick diplomatic education. It's important as the heir to the throne to really kiss up to people. Uh, you're pretty much the perfect soldier. Get to work, my dude. Alright. And let's start handing out some minor titles, right? First of all, minor titles. 
There's a bunch of good ones here. Um, my designated region. I want someone who's really smart and loyal to the realm. How about the Count of Smyrna? Done. You're my designated regent. If I die, you become the regent. Court Physician. Oh, look at this bishop. Holy shit. Yeah, dude. You're amazing. And then an apprentice. Ooh. Let's also make you my apprentice. Master of the horse. So yeah, these are just minor titles. These actually have no effect on gameplay, but they can make people that don't like you like you a little bit better. I'm going to name you Master of the Horse. Uh, I'm going to name my Marshal Master of the Hunt. My High Almoner is going to be... Not this random chick, who cares? Are you my wife? No, you're just some random chick. Yeah, I don't care. My High Almoner, my Cupbearer. Let's give it to my other count. The Court Tutor. I want someone pretty smart. My Court Chaplain. And then... Just in case we need it. You know what? Let's go ahead and make the Mayor... A Commander. Perfect. I'm digging it. Um... Do any of my vassals not like me? You don't. Would you like to go carousing with me, Mayor Yordanes? It'll be great. We'll drink, we'll eat, and you'll love me after that. That's how it works, right? Uh, anything else we need to do? I don't think so, not right now. Let's look strategically. Are there any ready places that I could occupy? There really aren't. Uh, because we're in the Byzantine Empire, I could go after Crete. Uh, Crete's got a pretty decent-sized army, though. That's our problem. Uh, my max army is only 969. We need to invest in ourselves. And you don't actually exist. That's fine. Uh, escape, please. What is this? I could talk to the Chinese. What? I've never played with this edition, so I generally don't care. China's a bit far, right? That's all the way over there, my dudes. Uh, what about you? Nah, you're cool. Right. Anything else to do before we unpause the game? So, we don't have any obvious targets that I can see. You're actually stronger than I am. And that really is the problem with the Byzantine Empire, or playing in a big empire like the HRE. Is it just that the emperor tends to be a pretty strong guy? We just can't... Oh, that's right, this is before... Because Charlemagne hasn't really happened yet. Cool. So while I'm pretty confident that we won't be attacked, it's also going to be hard for us to expand unless we're very clever. And expand through things like marriage and, uh, and things like that. Let's unpause the game. Let's wait for some stuff to happen. Aww, he didn't want to be... He didn't want to drink with me. Man... You know what, Count? Let's get drunk together.
What the hell? No one wants to be bros with me. That's most unsettling. Right, we're waiting until we get a bit more gold. Perfect. Oh, uh, we're going to go ahead and invest in castle fortifications. It's cheap. And it'll make our fort a little bit tougher. It should also let me have a slightly larger retinue. Not that it matters. Oh, uh, what's our tech like? We haven't looked at tech yet. How does this work? I can write a theorem paper. Alright. How do I do that? I think this is a wonderful idea. Let's start writing a paper. Uh, so I can... I don't have that much money, so let's just make a decent effort. There we go. Ooh, I can... I can hire a smith and get some sweet money. I can borrow some money from Jews. Uh, if I need it. I don't really want it, though. What do I need? I need more prestige. Okay, and then I can ask. No, probably tell me to go get Ben, but you never know. I also need more ingredients. I propose a joint effort. How do I harvest ingredients, though? Oh, here you go. We can go to the hills. We can look for animal parts. We can go in the market. Let's go in the hills. Come along, Neophyte. Let's look for herbs. Want want. Which were the poison? Oh dear. I'm pretty smart. Up oh, there we go. Emperor, what can I do to make you like me? I could send you a gift. Can I arrange a marriage? No. I think when my, you know, let's arrange a betrothal. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, wow. You're kind of a jerk. The Emperor's like, nah, fam. I prefer an entirely average paper on the sun. Let us submit it for review. Oh, wow, there's a lot of Muslims in the society. Cool. Oh, the ecumenical patriarch likes me more, which is great, but not what I was trying for. I've gained esoteric knowledge. Nice. Yay! It's being endorsed. What is Mandrake for? It's a potent thing for other things. Interesting. And I'm going to go ahead and mark this as writing theorem papers when I can. Excellent. Perfect. Everyone really liked my theorem. I love it. I need 750 esoteric knowledge. I have 144. Ooh, foretell the future. I like it. Everyone likes me. This is great.
Things are proceeding apace. My fort is done. There's a dangerous faction. Oh dear. I thought we I thought you liked me. Like I can't just lock him in prison. I'd fail pretty badly. Here we go. No. Oh. What do you mean he's unlikely to have children? Fine. How about this dreamy guy? Maybe you'll like me a bit more if I arrange a marriage between your people. No, you're still kind of peeved at me? Alright. We have an issue then. And you don't want to come carousing with me. Like, I really don't want to instantly just have to increase the power of the council because I don't want to have to deal with that. I don't know if I can get enough to kill him. I don't have enough money to just send him some money. This is the dangers of medieval time. There's nothing I can do about this at the moment. I can't kill him. Um, I can't revoke his title. And he's 71% of my levy. Which means if he leaves, I'm kind of screwed. I do not want to join this levy. Oh, the one thing I can do, though, I can send my spy master after him. Um. I don't know how much it would hap them though, ha stop them though. Might be what I have to do. Um, where, which count is this? It's the count of Smyrna. So build a spy network in Smyrna, my loyal Mysticos. And let's see if we can't get him to calm down a bit. Excellent. Esoteric knowledge and a bunch of prestige. I can ask my liege for a title. I would like more power. But I also don't want to risk our relationship yet. I want to build that. And over time, I think I will. But it's going to take me some time. So I think we're just going to wait for right now. The Avar Khanate has been defeated. Hmm. There's just not enough people. Why don't you like me? You just don't like me personally. Other than that, you love me. There's not much I can do about that. My Mysticos died. What? Wait a minute. No. What happened to my Mysticos? Um, I could put my wife on the council. The Count of Kios is pretty pissed off at me. 
Oh, he's incapable now. That's why. All right. Please continue to build a spy network here. Yeah, you're not on the council because you have the pox. Probably gonna die soon anyway. Whatever, dude. I'll invite him to carousing. We'll get him drunk and then possibly murder him. Um, you need an education focus. I'm gonna keep you working on military. Excellent. Let's have some fun. Let's get drunk. Interesting. This merchant, this courtier. Interesting. Ten gold. Nice. And Theodorus died. Perfect. I had a feeling that would happen. Wah, wah. Uh, this gives me a new vassal who is a child. You're a two-year-old. I'm not putting you on the council. Uh, we need to improve your opinion of me, Mayor. I could send you some money. Like, I don't love sending him that much money, but I think that's the best plan right now. I want to make sure I get my taxes. It's still just him. But eventually this is going to come to a head. But he did accept my invitation. Oh, you need more than one person. I didn't know that. Well, there we go. I learned something new today. Everyone wants more council power. I don't see why he's at war right now. Regulated inheritance. Cool story, bro. I don't know how that affects me, though. I'm still going to lose the Dookie when I die. Unless I can get the Emperor to like me more. Or I could plot to kill him. His heir also dislikes me. The problem is it's more a me problem than it is... And anyone else problem. Isn't he the one that's leading? Perfect. Yes, let's obligate him. that oh there it goes it's gone well done you have a new ecumenical patriarch i don't love him but that's all right what happened to you you died Uh, Kiros. Let's make a commander the marshal, actually. I think it just makes more sense. Um, a cupbearer. Perfect. The Count of Kios, a three-year-old, can be my cupbearer. I see no problem with this whatsoever. 
Um, I would like to... I could write a book. What? This seems like a great idea. How much would it cost to get a commander, though? That's a lot. That's a fair bit of money. I would rather not. Oh, magnificent. Perfect. Now he likes me a bit more. Now, how much of a difference is this going to make at the end of the day? Is it going to be enough for me to keep for this to be given back to my son after I die? I really don't know. We're just going to just keep sucking up to him. I do not have a staff of Hermes. I want to build a laboratory, please. Achoo! Oh, pardon me. Achoo! Good lord. Mmm, that is a lot of money. Let's find some more ingredients. And let's go to the marketplace. Um, most impressive woman has arrived at court. So it wants me to make her my Sacalarios. Holy shit, she's fucking amazing. Done. Twenty five gold for three ingredients. Lovely. Uh, Sacalarios. Um, give me some taxes. How would I like to cash in my favor? Hmm. You know what? Let's have all of my vassals come by for a feast. We could also go stargazing together. Nice. Can I invite a two-year-old to carousing? I cannot, which is fair. And I can make someone else a commander. Kiros. Excellent. Um, great. Can I have you marry? Only adults, please. You're not going to marry a freaking concubine. That's ridiculous. Okay. I would like to arrange a marriage with someone in your court. My son. Nope. You're not at peace. You have a lot of vassals, sir. I wonder if you'd agree to a betrothal between my son
There we go. We'll do this. No, you know what? Let's arrange the betrothal between my younger... Oh, no, you're about to turn 16. I think this is not ideal. Because she's only two years old, right? I would get a bunch of prestige, though. No, that's super gross. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Uh, let's get my son a wife, though. No, I need to click on him and then click on arrange marriage. Um... Let's get someone fairly mil let's get someone fairly warlike who's also an iconoclast and is fairly young. You're brave, diligent, honest, and zealous. I think you'd make a fine wife. For my son. Mary. I don't have a title to give you, Helios, unfortunately. Because the thing is, I only have the county right now. If I give that to you, I will have no domain. So I just have to take a bit of a prestige penalty for having an unlanded son. Well done, Anna. Aw, we're besties. Hooray. Perfect. Uh, let's use the money we just earned and start building our laboratory. For science! Uh, I want my secrets to be safe. I would like a state-of-the-art laboratory. I don't have 20 gold. I mean, I could ask for a loan. Hmm. I really want a great laboratory, right? So you know what? Can I borrow 300 gold, please? And then I will import the finest. Better storage. I need a brilliant reference library. I need the greatest glass. I should really be investing this money. As above, so below. Ooh. I gain a bunch of esoteric knowledge. And now I can take the rest of my money and invest it. Ah, uh, that would increase my levy and my garrison size. That would basically give me a hundred additions to my levy though I really do want a larger garrison too it would take me years to get I would need castle walls too anyway which I can't have until I get a better keep um 
10%. This is the better value right now. And then build the keep once the levy's a little bit bigger. You know, I'm going to ask my liege for a title. And let's see what happens. Damn it. Oh well. It was worth a shot, right? Excellent. Well done, Hippolytos. And my wife is pregnant. Beautiful. Wait, I could go off to war. Send my personal levies away. Where is... Isn't there a wars tab? I suppose there's not. Let's see. Kazaria. Oh, it's up there. Okay. He's only got 970 troops. I could very easily raise my personal levy and then go off to war and maybe they'll like me more. But I do think we ought to wait until um until i can add a bit more to the levy because i'm not going to call up my vassals just to join this war i prefer it just to be my army and the consistorium is now more powerful a proposal some lost hermetic findings Ooh. Let's go to Smyrna and let's request to be upgraded. Oh yeah, I'm an initiate, y'all. I can now scry. What? Anyone who's depressed or stressed, I can you I can brew them a potion. Brilliant. Um, where's the button to mark someone an important character? Oh, it's right here. Here we go. Boop. I need to know everything about my son and my other son. No. Uh, let's talk to you. You look like twins, but you're not. Oh my lord, you are an amazing soldier. Hi. Uh, absolutely. Let's have you marry a countess. It'd be a... Uh, mm, no, we've got to... We've got to increase the bloodline, right? Which means I cannot have you marry someone... That's, uh, that can't bear children. Oh, wow. I could have you start a military company. Perfect. There he goes. The Ephesio Cien Bam. Oh, 
this is cool. Anatolios. Done. Beautiful. Uh, you there. Go to Smyrna. And I would like to arrange a betrothal between you Can I get you to marry someone in the Emperor's family? Perfect. Get some babies married. I found a hermetic text. Nice. Okay. Uh, I would like to see the future, please. We'll cost you some esoteric knowledge, but I'd like to see the future. Yes, let's crush some mercury. Beautiful. That went quite well. And some random bishop doesn't like me. You know what? That's fine. He was probably a jerk anyway. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change my ambition. And I'm going to change it to... I would like to join... The council. He's thinking about it. I would like to write a new theorem paper, please. We'll make a decent effort. I will not bother him. I'm gonna let him wait and then make his decision. Nice. look up my mercenaries. Hey, it's my son. He's on contract to the county of Fritzlar. Well done, son. Ah, I cannot directly arrange a marriage. That's all right. Maybe my son will come back. An entirely average paper on fermentation. Excellent. I have a grandchild. I'm going to be honest and tell it as it is. And I'm becoming stressed, but that's okay. I can make a potion for myself. Hmm. 
me use some brimstone. And then as soon as I can, I would like to go gather some more ingredients. If I can. Oh, well, maybe I can't. Okay. Excellent. I'm no longer stressed. I'm pretty sure I just made beer. I mean, it was fermentation, right? I will buy her something nice. My brother invoked the presence of a divine being. I will give them an ingredient. I need to find another hermetic text. Um, let's go to Theos. Tell me of secrets hidden throughout the world. I think that sounds wonderful. I apparently have lost intrigue. Oh no. What what rot row I am dead <laughs> And that's gonna end this first episode. Um oh dear I'm no longer a duke, I'm now merely a count count but we might get the Emperor to give me the county back. Which would be quite nice. But until then, this has been Avendian. Thank you for watching. And I bid you good day.